This is true now, okay? This is true. I love most about the game is that I can literally go out there and hit a man consistently and pound him and the police not come. That is the most enjoyable moment about ball, is to go out there and just really abuse somebody. And then they won't say nothing about it in the press, anything. I ain't on no headlines and handcuffs, no mug shots, no nothing. I might just physically abusing a man. What's going on, folks? This is your boy Alberto, your host of the 95 North Falcons Talk Show. You finished watching a quick snippet on a player that I am rooting for, as probably the whole Falcons fan base is as well. That would be Marlon Davidson. I am picking Marlon Davidson to be that 2022 breakout candidate for us on the defensive line. He was drafted in 2020 out of Auburn, Auburn State, 47th overall. 2020 was a wash season, so to say, for uh, Marlon Davidson. He played some games, but hurt his knee, and then COVID-19 just washed away the rest of the season for him. Last year in 2021, he played in 11 games, started only one, racked up the uh, stats that you uh, saw on hand, 21 combined tackles, one INT, one sack. That one INT and that one sack came against Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What a coincidence, right? Does Marlon Davidson have uh, Tom Brady's number, so to say? I don't know. Hopefully now in 2022, uh, he can definitely put it all together and just wreak havoc on this defensive line for us. A much needed and much wanted um, feature that we need on this line. Uh, Grady Jarrett has been doing it for so long for us. And, you know, with Grady getting a little bit up there in age, he's going to need somebody to, you know, take some of that pressure off of him. Why not Marlon Davidson? Um, from the pictures as well, he showed up to OTAs in phenomenal shape. Very slim down. Uh, hopefully that's a product of how much work he has put in the off season to take this 2022 season as seriously as he possibly can being a crucial make or break year for him. Marlon Davidson is going to go into a defensive line that no longer features John Kaminsky or Tyler Davidson, but we have brought in the likes of Vincent Taylor, formerly of the Cleveland Browns and Houston Texans. We also re-signed Anthony Rush, who played phenomenal for us down the stretch last year, and also Derek Tangelo, a defensive tackle out of Penn State. So with that, Marlon Davidson, man, uh, we're calling for you, brother. We're hoping that you have put it all together and, you know, you just show us that that aggressive style in your speech translate onto the field for us in 2022. And hopefully we can see you beyond 2022 and years to come. So with that, I'll leave it open to any questions, any comments that you fans may have. Just leave them in the comment box for me. Um, I'll greatly appreciate that. And if you like uh, the video, please share it. Please subscribe to the channel. And uh, thank you for your time. Later.